Hey, I'm Emily. Today I'm going to be taking you through this full cool workout for your lower body. All you need is one of the resistance bands. And I'm going to be showing you five exercises. So how I usually do it is I do them 50 seconds, like I do each exercise 50 seconds. I rest 10. Um, and then I just repeat the circuit three times. That's like 50, it's a 15 minute workout. And I promise you, you're definitely gonna feel the burn. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. And let's get into it. So the first exercise I wanna show you guys is the lateral band walk. You're gonna take your resistance band and place it just above your knees. And then your starting position is gonna be your feet at hip width apart. You're gonna sit back with your hips, keeping your chest up and your gaze forward. And as you're sitting back, you wanna keep pushing your knees out against the resistance band as you take a step to the right, and then you take a step to the left, and then you just keep going, keeping your body in this low position. So next up, we're gonna be doing the body weight squat. This exercise, again, we're gonna be using the resistance band just above our knees. You wanna start off with your feet about hip distance apart. I like keeping my feet a little bit wider because it activates my glutes more. The wider you stand, the more glute activation you're gonna get. So as you sit back with your hips, you wanna keep your chest high and your gaze forward, and you wanna push your knees out against the resistance band as you're sitting back with your hips and then you're gonna push yourself back up. So moving on to the reverse lunge. Here you wanna be starting off by placing both feet about shoulder width apart, and then just take a big step backwards with your right foot, and as you place your foot on the floor, bend both knees to about a 90 degree angle, and try and make sure that your weight is evenly distributed between both legs. Extend both knees and transfer your weight completely onto your left foot and then step your right foot forward to return to the starting position. And from there, you just alternate your legs. So next up, we have the bodyweight glute bridge. For this exercise, I love using the resistance band as well. So start in the position with your back flat against the floor and then you want to bridge your hips up by squeezing your glutes and driving your heels into the floor. And since we're doing this with the resistance band, you also want to be thinking about pushing your knees out against the band. And from there, you just want to lower your hips back down to the starting position and then just repeat. So if you want to increase the difficulty, you can always put one feet up off the ground and just do like a single leg glute bridge. So you want to think about keeping your form the same as if you would do with two feet. So instead, it's going to be a little bit heavier and it's going to work so the last exercise we're going to do is the Bulgarian split squat. So you want to place a chair or something like it behind you and then stand in front of it. Carefully step your right foot backwards, allowing your foot to rest on top of it. Carefully shuffle your left foot forward if you need to get in a comfortable position. You kind of want to get your knee above your ankle. You don't want your knee to be too far over your toes. And then bend both knees to about 90 degree angle to the lunge position. Push through the heel of your left foot to extend both legs. So you should do an equal amount of repetitions on each side. Okay, cool. That was all the exercises I wanted to show you guys. I hope you liked this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!